Hello, everyone. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing. I truly appreciate it. Keep supporting the Shazy Motorsport channel. Um, so what I have today is a tool that was provided by the manufacturer's Ansel. Uh, it is BM500. This is used for a couple of things. You can read the fault codes. Uh, you can read any of the PCM adaptation issues. You can, if your car has a rear electronic handbrake, parking brake, you can use that to put in a service mode or take it out of service mode. And primarily this is used for BMW battery registrations. So if you recall, pretty much, I would say since 2000, 2002, BMWs all the way up till today have a battery registration that is required when you replace a battery. The reason that is, is you might have a battery that's 105, 90, 95 amp bridge, and then you might have some cold cranking amps, right? Over time, the battery degrades, whether it's two years, four years, six years, eight years, whatever that is. So your computer is adapting to the battery when it's going down in life. And if you don't re-register the new battery, computer is not gonna be able to put out the right voltage out to all the electronics in the car. Hence, you have to re-register the battery. So the manufacturer had sent me this to review how easy or how the process is to do it. So obviously in my BMW, I'm gonna do it on the F series X5 2014. This can be used on the F or the G series. Uh, again, to keep in mind, I do not have a bad battery. I've checked over the times whenever I made the videos with the Beamer Code app. And I still wanna say, I think the battery is still about somewhere between 80 to 90%. At least that's what the app is telling me. Um, no problem starting it up because I always keep it on trickle charger and everything else. So what I'm gonna do is let's unbox this, review this first, and then I'm gonna put it in on the car and see the steps and show you guys the steps for battery registration. So it comes in this uh, packaging from Amazon. And what I'll do is I'll link it down below so you guys are able to get the product and then I'll also link it down the coupon code that you can use on Amazon for this product. So again, it comes with, oh, so finally, it comes with a USB cable and, and it has a USB-C. So finally that has caught up. Um, if you guys look, um, I'll link it down here. But if you guys review any of my older videos, I talked about they had the micro and the mini USBs in here. They didn't have the USB-C. So at least these ones have the USB-C. So they have caught up to recent times. Uh, again, uh, about three feet or 3.3 feet cable. Um, this device is made out of plastic and has a rubber bump around it so you cannot damage it. Again, very simple. There's top, bottom, right, left, okay, and back, I guess, escape functionality, that's it. Um, Build-wise, it's same. Screen's plastic, which is, I expected it because otherwise you will crack it or scratch it. Um, and then this goes in your OBD2 sensor. So what I'll do now is we'll get in the car, plug this in and continue the video. But other than that, um, if you look at these functions, like I mentioned, um, it has a reset, it has, you can read the fault codes, you can put the car in um, handbrake in a service mode. And then the languages it support is English, French, um, German, uh, Spanish, and Italian. Those are out of the box that it supports. The box also comes with a manual. Um, if you guys wanna read this, that's fine. I'm not gonna read it. I'm just gonna put it away like this and keep it away. So let's get this plugged into the car and then we will go from there. Okay, everyone. So what I've done is I've plugged in the OBD2 adapter in the BMW X5. This can be used on any of the BMWs with F and G uh, series chassis. Um, so what we're gonna do is once you plug it in, it powers on really fast and then it gives you this menu. So here you can also do like OBD checks, like I mentioned, you, there's one specifically for BMW, then oil reset, then there's electronic parking brake reset, then there's a battery BMS reset, ETC reset tool setup. Obviously tool setup is gonna be very basic functionality of how, what language you want, what uh, units you want and so forth. I'm not gonna go in there, not gonna bore you guys, I'm gonna skip it. So OBD will probably tell you if you have any check engine lights or any other codes showing up on your uh, device. So what we're gonna do now is um, BMW and battery. So I'm gonna show you guys battery first. Um, so the nice thing with this is I can plug this in and then I can click on okay. So this is the okay button on the bottom. Um, so I turned the engine off, right? And you will notice, um, 
and then I can do OK star detection. Current voltage is this. And then I can do start detection. It's going to tell me to start the engine. I'm going to start the engine. And you can see it tells me, you know, the off voltage when I turned it off, what it was. And now that it's running, uh, it's at about 13.3. Um, so this tells me actively the uh, battery voltage that's putting out there. You don't have to go to an auto parts store to figure out what your battery is and so forth. But this helps you with that way. So let's come out of here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go up and we're going to go to BMW. So this will give you the list of menus. Obviously, I have the 20-pin adapter. So I'm going to press OK. Uh, let me see if you guys can see this. Zoom in a bit. Okay. So here it's telling me the last test record BMW series for mini series for Rolls Royce and other ones. Obviously, mini and Rolls Royce are off of the BMW, so that's why it's mentioning those. We're going to go in BMW. And here um, it tells me uh, what series I want to pick. So obviously, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight X series, Z series, and I series as well. So that's good to know the new i8s and the IMs and IXs can be used as well. So we're going to go in for X-Series, and then in here we're going to go to X5. And then obviously, so this actually goes back, I thought this was for F-Series and G-Series, but here you see some E's in here as well. So we're going to go into F. You can also do the F85 and then GO5. So press OK. Uh, we don't want to do basic, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to do special functions. And in here, you see that for the CBS, the PCM, the battery, and the electronic parking brake. I'm, I don't have electronic parking brake that I need to worry about at the moment. So I'm just going to go into battery management. So here, what I can do is I can use the very first option and register the battery. Um, as you guys saw in my the beginning of the first, second part of this video, my battery was at about 13.3. Obviously, I don't need to... Um, change my battery but if I were to go then you would click on OK and you would follow the prompts through and register your battery. Um, whenever you get the AGM batteries um, <clears throat> depending on the BMW you have you might have I believe anywhere from 80 to 105 make sure you get the same one and then you have to enter in what AGM battery you're getting is it 90 is it 95 is it 105 I believe most of the X series come with 90 the main one I don't remember what the exact the backup is this mini battery. X, X series, X5 at least has two batteries, one main one and one auxiliary one. So what I'm gonna show you here is, obviously I'm not gonna go and register that battery, but I'm gonna do evaluate. And you can see the evaluation of the battery as well. So click okay through it. Um, so it's telling me when it was changed and so forth. I'm gonna press okay. So basically what this is telling me, currently the battery is about 84%. This is what I mentioned earlier in the video when I was doing it. Um, over the last couple of years, it's been between 80 and 90% depending on the charges. So you can see one day ago was 88, two days ago was 85 and 89 and so forth, 88 and so forth. So the computer keeps track of the battery as well. Um, so this tells you um, the battery status. Obviously, if the battery is deteriorating, then this will not 100%. Just these numbers alone will tell you the starting of it, what uh, modules are working and not working. Some of the modules within the BMW are very battery uh, intuitive and they take a lot more battery power versus the smaller modules. So this is that. Uh, we can come out of here. Um, same thing in here. So remember this is where you're going to register your battery and that's what you're going to use. And then obviously this is just resetting it uh, in here. If you wanted to you can go reset it. I don't want to do that so I want to come out of here. And then obviously, if you were to go in F85, then you can also do all the functions for F85 or G05 as well. Um, and that's what the tool I really wanted to show you guys. Um, hope this makes sense and you guys uh, appreciate what we can do so you don't have to always use Beamer code. Um, and what I'll do is I'll link it down below the price of it, where you can find it and also what I'll do is I'll link down the promo code that you can utilize to buy this and get discount using my channel name and so forth. But I'll link it down below. If you have any questions, comments, please put them down below. I'll be happy to answer. Thank you.